Okay. Oh man, that's so, so uh, helpful. Yeah, so here you see it. And the thing is that um, you That reminds me of Qbert. So it's essentially a yeah. Qbert board. If exactly. you look at them so as cubes. Oh actually, man. <laughs> your hexagonal grid is the same thing as taking this cube and just uh, making the intersection with the, with the plan that is going uh, uh, 45 degrees in all directions, okay? Yeah, so interesting. So, so if you think of it as a 3D space, yeah. uh, then it works. Ah, that's, yeah. that's the amazing. Is, the interesting thing is that, so you take three vectors like that, mm -hmm. and as, what you can see is that the sum of the three uh, coordinates of each vector is zero. Okay. <laughs> so That's the thing awesome. is that if you add two vector which uh, coordinate sum is zero, the result will have also a coordinate sum of zero. Mm -hmm. So when you compose this vector, you stay in the same plane. Okay? Wow. That's and awesome. So this, this is a big clue for our Catan simulation. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And so the thing is that uh, you, you take three vectors, for example, uh, you say uh, it's, uh, it's uh, x, uh, or in this one, it will be something like, it will be x, uh, like that, um, it will be y, and it will be z, mm -hmm. okay? And then you can add them and get the coordinate of any point easily. I see, so do you, in yours, do you have certain, um... Uh, yeah, certain uh, hexagons marking the inside I, uh, I of the... the... I will show the, the code, so it will be... Uh, so the thing is that create X coordinate. The, the thing is that since you have a vector whose coordinates are uh, have a sum of zero, mm -hmm. you can always compute the last coordinate from the two first. Right. Okay? <laughs> so actually you can use uh, this representation which has only two coordinates. Right. Okay. So you have two coordinates, but three vectors. Usually, uh, in my case, I use north, southwest, and southeast. Uh huh. Okay. So uh, it's very easy. So I have a, an x coordinate which has uh, two components, q and r. And so the plus operation just uh, take the q and r of the first one, the q and r of the second one, and create a new x is q1 plus q2 and r1 plus r2. This is just very simple uh, vector coordinate, uh, vector operation. Mm -hmm. And I can do the same with uh, multiplication by multiplicating uh, a vector by an, uh, an amount. And yep. this is just multiplication, okay? And uh, this is just um, syntax to get q on r from uh, my structure. So it's okay. And then I can define uh, north, which is uh, 0 minus 1, south, which is uh, 0 plus 1. Yeah. Okay. Northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast. And there are two a bit special, which are uh, west 2 and east 2, which are northwest, southwest. Okay. So okay. <laughs> this is uh, uh, the uh, west 2 is this plus this. So it's going west. Oh, I see. Making a that. turn. So by north or by south, but this is the west, okay? Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. And the center is uh, zero, zero. Cool. And uh, the cube here is just computing the, the Z coordinate from the first two. So you get three coordinates instead of just two. Mm -hmm. And then the other uh, interesting thing is uh, uh, how you, you define uh, crossroads. So uh, realization, uh, interesting realization is that uh, when you have hexagons like that, whoop, each corner like that is either left or right of an hexagon. Yeah. So this one is right of this hexagon. Mm -hmm. This one is left of this hexagon. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one is left of this one, and this one is right of this one. Okay? Okay. So you can always uh, define a corner by saying it's on the left or, or on the right of an hexagon. So it just, I define a crossroad side, which is either uh, C left or C right. And mm -hmm. then a crossroad is uh, a tile, so with its co uh, X coordinate and a side, left or right. Yeah. Okay. 
And for the border, a border is always northwest, north or northeast of an hexagon. So this is northwest, this mm -hmm. is north, this is northeast. And of course, this one is northeast of this hexagon. And so you have a unique way to represent every border. Nice. Okay? So here, this is north northeast of this one. Okay. I see. So from that, we can start to make some more uh, interesting things. And then we have street direction, up, down, on horizontal. Okay. So up is uh, either when you are on the on the right, mm -hmm. up is this one, down is this one, on horizontal is this one. Okay. When you're on the left, this is up, this is down, and this is horizontal. So horizontal is not the same as when you're left on where, when you right, but it's always yeah. horizontal. So it's unambiguous, and then it's more easy to, to actually uh, deal with it, okay? Mm -hmm. So I, I will uh, just talk a bit about the geometry, because uh, after that, when that is solved, a lot of problems become a bit simpler, and then I will talk about event sourcing. Okay. okay. <laughs> but this is, as you can see, this is uh, just modeling and it's very simple. So uh, a parcel is just a, a tile, but it's a bit more than a tile because it's a parcel. So this is uh, one of the elements of the game. Okay. And the field is just a set of parcels. So your field is just a set. So in a set, you cannot have twice the same value. Mm -hmm. And the uh, sets in, uh, in F sharp are, are immutable. So uh, when you make an union of two sets, you modify neither the first one, neither the second one, you get a result. Right. Uh, which is a new result. So you can use plus uh, or minus and compute a new one and just get a new value, which is a new set. Okay. Mm -hmm. A fence, this is your fence, and the fence is a list of paths and directions. Okay. So it just says you move north along this path, you move uh, west along this path and all that. Very easy. Mm -hmm. and this is for uh, barns. And then you have you start to have uh, functions like direction. So to revert the direction, up becomes down, down becomes up, and horizontal sta stays, uh, stays horizontal. Mm -hmm. uh, very useful. And I will pass all that. And for the geometry, after that, whoop, 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 I continue here. You can do things like that. For instance, you want to find the neighbor of a crossroad in a given direction. Okay, so you're on a, of, on a crossroad, which is on one side of a tile, and you want to move up or left or, or, or uh, up or down on, or horizontal. So I just mm -hmm. make a pattern matching like that. Okay, and I say, if you're on the left and you want to go up, I show you. So you're on the left and you want to go up. So you know that you're on the left of this tile. You want to go up, so you want to finish on this tile. So you can take the tile that is northwest mm -hmm. and take the right side. So this is exactly what I write. I say, okay, you oh, take I see. the tile northwest. Those are all the cases the right of what they side. translate to. If you want to go north, south, you go southwest, and this is the right side. If you want to go horizontal, you take the tile that is west two, and you are on the right side. And this is just a reverse for the for the horizontal. Mm -hmm. And for example, when you have a, a crossroad, you want to find all the tiles that are around this crossroad. So um, if I am here, I want this one, this one, and this one. Okay. So if I'm on the right, and so this will be the the tile. So I will take. Uh, the one on the northeast and the one on the southeast. If mm -hmm. I'm on the left, left, I will take this one and this one. And I'm done. Okay, so actually, all this geometry, once you get it uh, right with uh, good modeling and uh, some uh, well defined operation, is mm -hmm. actually very easy to write. So getting the neighbor tiles is just these uh, four lines. Okay? Yeah, that's wonderful. And yeah, and then there is a lot of things like that. For instance, this is a list of crossroads around the parcel. So you get just all the things, uh, whether a parcel contains a crossroad. So it will check this. Uh, is it on a board? What are the neighbor's parcels? And it, uh, whether two parcels are neighbors of each other and all that. So this is a lot of small function, very easy to write. Mm. 
very easy to, to get right and uh, very easy to test. Yeah, it's, it's amazing um, to see how mathematics uh, can al is always approached by having a new perspective and thinking outside the box. You know, looking at a flat set of hexagons um, is yeah. much more difficult than when you imagine that these are just the edges of cubes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, that yeah. little, th that yeah. about yeah. sums up all the discoveries in mathematics is just reframing the problem and all yeah. of a sudden everything becomes an order of magnitude simpler. Yeah, and, and here uh, the thing is that once you have vectors, uh, it's thought to be actually far simpler. Okay? Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see here, for instance, you get a crossroad on the direction and it will give you the path in that direction. So it will tell you uh, which is the path uh, on, on what border and it's just this small pattern matching and from that you can uh, deduce a lot of things. So this is for the, the mathematical part of the thing. And after that there are more, um, more uh, intricate uh, algorithm for some of the things like finding the, uh, the inside of a path. So when, when you have a list of paths, where is the inside, where is the outside, what are the tiles that you take and all that are a bit oh, right. Okay. I will not make the full detail of that code here. Yeah, but uh, there's some interesting, uh, there's some interesting three-dimensional geometry you could use for that, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, actually, the, uh, what, what I do is that I try to find the, the when you go back to your field, so, uh, uh, I will show here. When you start from here, a pass, and then go back here, I have the pass here because you drew it. Mm -hmm. And to finish the thing, I when I uh, when you arrive here, I try to follow the border in the counterclockwise direction back to the beginning of your fence. Right. Okay. And this way, I know I go always the same direction. So if I went this way. I will follow this path, okay? Mm -hmm. If I went the other way, like that, I will follow this path, okay? Yeah. And then I have a, a closed path and I can fill it, either this one or the full one, okay? Depending right. on the direction, but whatever, I can just remove those types from the set and then I get only that all time. So I know what is the new field that you just took over, and I can use that for the rest of the of the computation. Okay. Nice. So uh, uh, first first thing was to 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 find this way of modeling the 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 moves, uh, modeling the positions, and so there there is just after that um, some uh, rendering to do for for the things. So uh, the thing I tried and that worked very well was to use a uh, Fable. I don't know if you know. I Fable. heard about Fable, yeah. Um, so Fable uh, is a... But maybe explain it to everyone. <laughs> yeah. So Fable is a, is a, a template and some tools in uh, F sharp so that you can uh, write uh, F sharp, uh, both server side and uh, client side.